The rise, the fall and the potential comeback of Sam Altman. What an incredible situation. He formed with Elon Musk in 2015, OpenAI. It's owned by a foundation or a trust. In other words, it's a non-profit organization. And maybe there lies the problem, but let me tell you the story. The company starts to develop ideas from both Sam and indeed Elon Musk. By 2018, there seemed to be a potential conflict of interest with Elon Musk because of Tesla and self-drive cars. In other words, is he using the company, taking the information and using it with Tesla? Okay, a potential conflict. He wasn't happy, but he was pushed out of OpenAI, the company that he formed and was part of the original concept of AI and artificial intelligence and what it could do to potentially change the world for good. Of course, the reason for the foundation, the trust, was to make sure that it was independent. This independent board appoints the directors, and there again lies the strange situation, because the shareholders don't appoint the directors. So in a normal company, the people that own the company, they appoint the directors, but not the case in OpenAI. It's run by a trust, a non-profit organization, but perhaps with people lacking in experience. Of course, the gain is then no commercialization. You got Sam Altman going in, working hard, visionary, loved by the staff, and trying to develop and weave incredible vision and incredible persistence building an organization that's doing of course incredibly well so well that Microsoft put 10 billion in as investment to get 49% of the shares of course it shares in a company where they can't appoint the directors so no Microsoft director on the board but they're backing it financially and they're the main users so they're paying fees to open AI so it seems like a crazy situation and then suddenly surprise to Sam then he was fired pushed out lack of being honest with the board so they said it's rumored that he was looking to create a chip company that could compete with Nvidia well, he's got no shares in open AI, doesn't get paid a fortune for being in that organization. Did he see himself as actually needing to have something where he could make money and potentially run another company where he could make money and have something that created chips like Nvidia, which of course he'd know exactly what they do. And then of course, create a company that potentially could grow exponentially and be in incredibly profitable. Okay, we'll see what happens. But as he got kicked out, then the people reversed against the board. Who reverted? The shareholders. Microsoft said they were blindsided. But more importantly, the staff. They said, we're not working with the people that the board appoint. We want Sam back. That's amazing. Imagine a company where the staff refuse to work unless they have the CEO that they want, who's in charge of the organization overall. Well, there lies again the problem. It's not the shareholders, it's the trust. But then if nobody puts money in, like Microsoft, then guess what? Company doesn't exist. And if the staff refuse to work and they're some of the top people in the industry, then guess what? Company ceases to work. It's an incredible situation, and we may well see Sam reinstated. Whatever happens, he's going to be successful, and if he is successful in another company, then the people that fired him are going to say this was the biggest mistake that was ever made. And what about Microsoft? Their shares are down, but potentially that is a buy. Why? because Microsoft is always going to be successful. And whatever happens, I have a feeling they're going to win. I'll keep you up to date with the latest news. Give me a follow. Crazy situation, but also super interesting.